Hi, I'm Rena. Didn't see you there. First of all, congratulations. You have made it through a literal global pandemic. Well, at least so far. It's been a really, really hard year and some months. Um, so let's talk a little bit about mental health. Time for some tea. I'm having a tea called twig tea, which tastes pretty much how it sounds, very um, twiggy, you know, a little bit like if you stuck your mouth um, on a patch of dirt with a few snails and um, some fallen twigs. Pretty nice, actually. This isn't all about tea and liquids, other liquids. No. This is an intervention. So you're probably like, an intervention? But how can you give me an intervention if you don't even know who I am as the viewer? Au contraire, mon frère. I know exactly what your problems are. So you're probably a tiny bit concerned about, I don't know, a little thing called climate change, political polarization, the misinformation crisis, the hellfire of capitalism, poverty, hmm, what else? Civil rights and racial discrimination, COVID variants. Um, I don't know, you're probably dealing with anxiety, depression, work, school, grief, PTSD, and you know, any number of other stressors as well. But you know what your solution is? Rose water. Just kidding. That stuff does smell good though. Buckle up, babies, because I've got some actionable and useful advice for how to cope with hell, aka living in the 21st century. I've been struggling a whole lot with mental health and self care. Um, and so these are some of the things that have helped me get through the darkest period of my life. That note, Siri, play Carrie and Lowell by Soup John Stevens. Just kidding. I don't need to cry right now. So let's start with anxiety. If you're one of those rare people who does not have anxiety, then first of all, kudos. And second of all, you're not thinking about death enough. The good thing about anxiety is that it is a more motivating feeling than depression. Um, so you can actually channel your anxious energy to solve problems or um, to like declutter and organize. And if you can't do that because you're like a cowboy riding in the dark plateau of hopelessness, then... Um, been there. <laughs> um, but also you can just find like small ways to make your space feel safe and cozy and loving. Like um, if you're a cowboy, you could fill your room with um, cowboy related items and accessories like um, horseshoes, you know. Or um, if you're kind of a normal person, you could maybe try like cozy blankets or candles or photos of happy memories or places that you want to visit. Um, you know, the world is your oyster. If I could have it my way, I would fill my room with oysters and like an oyster shucker, a little lemon zester, a little hot sauce. Mm. Man, that's the kind of world I want to live in. As you probably know, being a human is just finding something new to complain about every hour on the hour. <laughs> However, um, this can be very draining, and so to combat all the negativity, I like to do guided meditations on gratitude right before bed, because that way you're kind of training your mind to think about positive moments um, and find appreciation in the small things rather than just focusing on all of the terrible things um, going on. The cool thing about this is that no matter how bad the day is, there's always some small little thing to be grateful for, like puddle. You got some sardine juice today, didn't you? She's very, very grateful. On that note, um, another thing that's really, really helped my mental health is adopting a second cat. 
who is um, the absolute king of my heart. I love you, Banjo. And it also makes you feel good to adopt a little baby from the animal shelter. Antidepressants have completely changed my life. I know they don't work for everyone, but for me, they have been an absolute godsend. I'd recommend them to anyone who's going through a really tough time, who just feels like they need a little extra boost. I recently learned from a psychiatrist that the way that they work is by creating the ideal environment for your brain to actually heal itself um, and develop new neurons. So that's really, really cool. The great thing about um, modern life is access to modern medicine. I was so worried about the black box label of feeling more, um, you know, suicidal or self-harming more. Um, on antidepressants, but for me, I mean, it really took away all of those intrusive thoughts and feelings and actions. Thank you, Sertraline. Big fan. Big, big fan. And if you're not, you know, on the antidepressant train, totally cool. I get it. Um, I was very hesitant for a really long time. Um, I'd recommend vitamin D, um, a lavender supplement as well. that is clinically studied um, and is German. So it's a supplement that's actually regulated and it's basically lavender, but it's, it's supposed to be as effective as an anxiety medication. So I'd recommend that, Nature is Way Colmade. Also, I'd recommend double checking your prescriptions um, online. I was taking um, a medication that was actually contraindicated for depression and heightened my anxiety and actually in my age group and gender range, um, it increased like suicidal thinking by 75%. So just, you know, give your medications a little research. Doctors don't always um, like know exactly what they're prescribing. Honestly, the little pleasures make a big difference, you know? Open the window, smell the flowers, eat some toast with jam. Do a little spin around, do a little dance, you know, stretch, lift some weights. Feeling strong is a really, really good feeling and it helps me a lot. I lift some weights um, when I want to feel better because I'm buff like that. And don't feel weird about having depression. It is super, super normal. Mental health issues are so, so, so prevalent right now. It's completely reasonable to be depressed, to be anxious. That is a very normal reaction to the world that we live in. And so give yourself a break, show yourself some self-compassion. Um, another thing that you know you sometimes have to do is just binge watch a show because it will take your mind you know, and put it somewhere else into this other world and that, that can really help. Um, for me, I watched an ungodly amount of Top Chef, um, a show called Taskmaster that's very funny for free on YouTube, um, as well as, you know, lots of other things. All of Game of Thrones, all of Breaking Bad. But just try to take care of yourself and whatever makes you feel like nourished and safe and secure and comforted, do that and try to connect um, with people. But it's also completely normal to feel really, really lonely during this time and hopefully there won't be another resurgence of COVID and, you know, we can start to get back to more of regular depression and loneliness and a little bit less of pandemic depression and loneliness. So with that being said, um, if you have any tips or advice or, you know, questions, concerns, comments, etc., let me know, comment, and if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd like that. Thank you very much.